This is my house, the zoo. Hello, welcome. Please, tell me something about yourself. Hi, I'm George. I'm an amphibian enthusiast and I enjoy looking after pets. You keep these amphibians in tanks. What are they? The tanks that I'm interested in, especially with amphibians, are called vivariums, paludariums and terrariums. Vivariums are generally more tropical-based. Um, they also are always uh, plant-based. So it's real plants and high humidity. And these are generally perfect for things like tropical dart frogs. Some species of newt, like uh, the crocodile newt is a good species, and the marble newt, because they both are tropical based. And then finally, you've got the paludarium, which you can probably see just in the background behind me. And the paludarium is where it's half land and half water. And this is ideal for newts and actually some frogs, because as you know, amphibians are usually half water, half land based. Sometimes it's seasonal, sometimes it's all the time. Um, the marble newts behind me are seasonal, but if they choose to breed, they have the option of breeding within the tank, which reduces the uh, outside cost of uh, putting them into a separate water tank and training them to sort of train them to be in the season, if that makes sense. Furthermore, I feel it looks better aesthetically and it allows a much more realistic and naturalistic environment for the amphibian. So what amphibians do you have? I have two Chinese crocodile newts, two marble newts, two Spanish rib newts, one warty newt with a fire belly sort of genus on it, two grey tree frogs, one smooth newt, one rabbit, one dog called Teddy, one cat called Barney, and one catfish, one koi. As you see here, this tank is very different to the vivariums, paludariums and terrariums we've already seen. And this is because this tank is mostly water apart from a turtle dock for the newts to rest on. This turtle dock allows the newts to have a basis on land. But these, two, uh, these newts, the two Spanish rib newts and the one fire belly newt, are very mainly aquatic and very rarely go on land. This is a warty newt. You can tell this by its rough skin. It's often confused as a Chinese fire-bellied newt because of its fire-belly pattern. It also has a unique tail, which most newts do not have, and you can tell this by its thin tapered shape, which means it's a more aquatic newt. This newt is about 14 years of age, and newts can often live up to 20, depending on their size and species. Explain why these types of tanks are better and how does it benefit the amphibians? These types of tanks are so much better than any normal tank or any other tank. And the reason for this is if me or you were a tropical animal, we'd want to live in the environment. And since most of these, well, all of the animals I have are captive bred. However, I want them, I want my tanks to be as natural as possible and that's for the healthiness of the um, species that's in there, especially amphibians, because they are very detrimental to humidity and heat. Therefore, what I do is I add realistic plants, microorganism and microfauna, and this allows the tank to actually become an environment. 